officially in the new place officially but unofficially because we're not fully moved in yet crossing our fingers or crossing my fingers that today is like the last moving day because long story short we've been trying to move for the last three days now but the weather has like been against us it's literally been raining non-stop for the last three days and there's been like obviously like windows in between the day where it kind of stops raining but we couldn't really like move it move everything and stuff like that or put it like in the back of the truck because it was gonna get wet or there was a chance it could start raining again so it's just been a whole ordeal of us trying to move our stuff to the new apartment we've moved majority of the boxes so we've got like a handful of stuff here now we just have like zero furniture that's the only thing that we haven't been able to move we are actually gonna go pick up a u-haul right now to get everything that's left in the apartment and just bring it all in one load and start unloading and it's not supposed to start raining today until it's now saying 2 p.m Ye yesterday was saying up until noon so i'm hoping we have like zero rain from now until then and that's more than enough time i think for us to go to the old apartment get everything load it come to this apartment and unload it hopefully all goes well and we're able to get it done in that time and also hopefully it's not oh my god my dog's on the bed and also hopefully it's not like a stressful situation but yeah that's the current update for now i'll show you i'll show you guys what we have going on in the apartment because it's kind of like a mess there's just boxes everywhere welcome to the second moving vlog this is just gonna be like a moving in vlog what moving in vlog um unboxing everything and just doing all the things around here like i've died and came back to life we officially well like 99 percent officially have finished moving all the stuff there's still a couple things in the other apartment like a few mirrors and just like wall decor <sighs> but bleh, i can't even talk that was rough it took us like an hour and 15 minutes <sighs> i'm almost at 10k so i don't even know if you can see 10k steps for the day oh man Here's what we've got going on. Stuff everywhere. Oliver, what are you doing? Come here. This mattress and our dresser was literally the death of me. This dresser I think was the worst part. And not only that, some of the handles broke, which that's freaking fun. I guess we should have removed them, but you know what? Also, my dog barked and cried for um, the whole hour and 15 minutes that we were loading stuff or unloading stuff. I feel bad, honestly, but he just gets a lot of separation anxiety. It's many hours later now, you guys, like many hours later <laughs> it's 7 p.m now and i am kind of back to life after doing everything we had to do so we finished on we finished unloading what we fit <laughs> we finished offloading everything and after that we had to like run back to i was gonna say ups dude my mind is not here 
we had to run back to the U-Haul place to drop off the truck because we had it for a certain time. And then after that, we went back to the old apartment, pick up some more things and some tools that we were gonna need to assemble our bed frame. And then after that, we went to go get food. We got Shake Shack, which was really good. And then after that, I took like the longest shower ever. I've just been laying in bed ever since. My freaking legs are hurting right now. I just know I'm gonna be sore tomorrow. But anyways, what I'm trying to get at is that after finally resting and all that stuff, we're gonna put some of the rooms together. So for sure the bedroom, we're gonna assemble the bed frame and just kind of put all of the furniture in place. And then same with the living room. Everything is kind of already in its in the rooms that they're supposed to be in. Um, we're just gonna put the furniture where we want it to be. And then I think tomorrow is when I'm gonna start like worrying about taking stuff out of boxes because I don't wanna do too much tonight. I'm already very tired, but that's like the very least that I want to do today, so. Okay, you guys quick little update the bedroom is pretty much set up so of course we have bed frame nightstand this is the door to the restroom and then if you guys saw my last vlog when I showed you the apartment you would have seen this weird wall right here where it's like uneven it kind of doesn't make sense um, our dresser does not fit on this wall right here it's too long for it so we had to put it in that wall which it fit perfectly but it's not like lined up exactly with the bed frame which does bother us but it is what it is and then this mirror i'm not 100 percent sure we're gonna put it there for now or we're gonna leave it there um but for now i'm gonna put it right there because we don't really have somewhere else to put it in the room actually i think we could put it on this wall right here right next to the closet because it being right in front of the in, in front of the bed, I don't know. Um, so yeah, we have so much more space right here than in our old bedroom. That's one thing that I really like about this apartment that it's way more spacious. Like the closets are huge. My boyfriend's gonna have his own. I'm gonna have my own. And yeah, there's just way more room. Um, and then out here in the living room. So we kind of have the same setup as the old apartment. We put out our rug here. Hopefully my dog treats this not this rug nice and the carpet as well but we just set up the furniture no decor or anything like that and then over here we have the tv stand and the tv and again this is a little bit of an awkward situation because this wall doesn't line up perfectly with this wall so we can't center the sofa on there and we can't really center the tv stand on there to like match up so we're just working with what we have but that is the update for today and we're gonna get into bed now get some rest and tomorrow's gonna be a full day of like unpacking and just finding home home what finding homes finding home i don't know finding a home for everything we have there you go that's what i'm trying to say so i will see you guys in the morning so it's 4 30 p.m now and i had fully intended on vlogging like the whole morning and stuff but honestly it was pretty busy and chaotic and i am finally back at the new apartment now so we're just gonna carry on this morning i woke up had a great sleep last night because finally slept on, slept on my mattress not the air mattress and it just feels good you know to like be in a new place and just get really good rest we were like busy running around town running errands and stuff like that we went back to the old apartment took everything we brought our food we brought every little knickknack that was laying around and the last thing to do there is just going to be to clean it and turn in the keys but we still have time for that so that's going to be like kind of pushed back a little bit but now that i am home and do not plan on leaving for the rest of the day i want to tackle the kitchen i really want to like put everything in its place even though i'm waiting on some amazon stuff for kitchen organization i'm not gonna get that till probably tomorrow but i'm just gonna put everything in the place that i want it to go and then once i get the organizers i will go ahead and like fix it up and stuff but yeah the plan for tonight is fix the kitchen put my clothes away in the drawers because everything is pretty much hung up that needs to be hung i just need to like kind of organize that 
and i don't know if i'm gonna do anything else but that's like the main things that i do want to do today just to start getting rid of boxes because let me show y'all this is the horror that's going on right now just ton of boxes ton of crap over here more boxes here um the office doesn't look that bad yeah the office is not too bad i guess i can show you guys my closet my closet's gonna be the office one I have so much space you guys I need to organize all of this I kind of just threw everything on the racks um so I don't know really yet how I'm gonna place everything but I have all my like drawer clothes down here and luggages I have like brand new clothes here that needs to be put away my boyfriend just left so my dog's like what's going on um yeah, this is horrendous more boxes over here the bedroom is looking not crazy thank goodness this is gonna be my boyfriend's closet and then in here the sliding is a little oh let me turn this one there we go the bathroom is so much bigger than our old one you guys like that's one of the things i love about this place but i just have everything like skincare daily stuff on the counter and then down here i need to organize that I have my old storage drawers for my other bathroom, which I'm going to leave there. And then now we also have drawers to put stuff in because our other bathroom did not have that. So just stuff just hanging around everywhere. Come on, Ollie. Also, I'm thinking right here. I don't know if I said this yesterday or not. I might have said it, but I think right here we're going to end up getting a little bench, which is going to look super cute. Maybe doing a mirror on top. No, no mirror, actually, because we didn't even want to put that mirror right there. Uh, maybe artwork or something, or maybe nothing. Who knows? But a bench there for sure. And then we still need to find a home for Ollie's crate, but everything needs to be cleared out in its place so we know where <laughs> we're going to put stuff. But yeah, I'm going to get to looking for kitchen boxes and organizing them. I've been working on this kitchen for what feels like two hours now, um, but I'm pretty much done. I just have a handful of things left to do around here. Uh, there's like some things that I just need to find homes for, and then also I need to finish up the pantry, but I'm gonna take a break for now because we're actually gonna go pick up dinner. I don't know if I'm gonna continue the kitchen after dinner because it's already gonna be 7 p.m. and I know like I'm probably gonna be a little tired after we have dinner and if i don't pick it up after tonight i'm gonna continue tomorrow but i'll show you guys really quickly the progress that i have made so this like is miscellaneous stuff that i need to put in drawers but i'm just waiting for the organizer and this right here actually i need to figure out what i'm gonna do with that um this is what this cabinet is looking like i'm not 100 percent sure on it but that's what we're gonna do with it for now this one is 100% complete, so I just put all of my glasses and plates right here. And then this one, I still have room to put more stuff. Down here, I have my pots and pans. And then down here, I have appliances and different like stuff to bake and just random stuff in here um and then the, in the drawers i still haven't done anything because like i said i'm getting the organizers um so i just placed random stuff in here for now i'm gonna have my ninja up there i'm probably gonna leave the salt and pepper and my um oils right here once i take those out if not i'm gonna move it over to this side but this is kind of what we have going on here is our dinner you guys we're having some steak very well deserved looks so good and it smells so good and we're also gonna put something on the tv sorry if you guys can hear the dishwasher in the background i'm actually washing it before 
I start using it with my dishes in there. So you guys are going to hear that and probably the air is going to be turning on and off. But I wanted to show you guys the Amazon stuff that I ordered because I got it in the mail and I'm very excited. When it comes to like home organization, I love, love, love ordering stuff from Amazon because it just makes everything look so much more like put together. So I'm going to show you guys the first two things. These are super nice quality, by the way, and I'll also have everything linked down below if you're interested in any of it. I got this for the kitchen so it's expandable and i plan to put like all my big like spatulas and different utensils that i use in the kitchen i just love the fact that it's expandable because the drawers in the kitchen are pretty wide and then i got the second one where i'm gonna put like my forks knives spoons and this is also expandable so there's like a ton of space for everything in there and then it comes with like these little adhesives i think that's so it doesn't move around in the drawer which is nice and i ordered this pack of four um lazy susans i have two of these they're a little bit bigger size i use one under my kitchen sink and then under my kitchen bathroom but these ones are just a little bit smaller in size and they come in super handy i plan to use these in the pantry and pro probably um in the kitchen sink as well or under the kitchen sink as well but it was like a set of four for like 20 bucks less maybe i'm not sure and then i got a new shower rack organizer situation just because the other one we had was kind of like old and yucky so i got this black one and then it also comes with these two smaller um what do you call these racks i guess i'm not really sure what this one is for it's like a whole little situation and then this one is like for your soap but i think i paid like 16 bucks for this and love me a good price and then i also got this for my bathroom it's a little like two-tier shelf i plan to put this under my bathroom sink to put my skincare on there i think i said in this vlog how i didn't want to put my skincare on the counter how i had it in my last bathroom and i think this is gonna work perfect for what i have i'm just gonna have it under the sink and organize my skincare on there and then lastly i got these two little baskets to use in my pantry i thought they were going to be a little bit bigger but i think i could still make them work but yeah they're cute little like wire baskets has these wooden handles right here and yeah so that's everything that i got so far i definitely plan on buying a few more things to like organize and use throughout the apartment i'm gonna get to finishing up the kitchen because i just want to get back into a routine and get my life together because living in chaos like this really affects like my mental health and gives me freaking anxiety because i hate being in clutter or mess so i'm trying to get this done as soon as possible and then move on to like the office the office i'm not worried about um it's just this main living space i am officially clocking out for the day you guys i didn't show you anything of what i was like doing throughout the day because i just got in the zone and had like no distractions and got so much done i think the apartment is like so close to being done there's just a few things here and there that need to be put away but i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what i got done i'm so like tired just from walking around the apartment all day. I literally have been home all day. Oh, my hair looks crazy. I've literally been home all day and I'm glad I have because I didn't want to leave today. I just wanted to get things done and I did. I do need a grocery shop, but honestly, I think I'm going to have to push that out for tomorrow just because I don't feel like doing anything for the rest of the day. Let me show you guys what I was able to do. We're going to start this way. All of that is recycled, so all of that stuff is empty. Um... I still need to do some organization in here in the like utility closet I think you would call it and then I have this bin right here of like organization stuff that I am not using right now but can use for something else I also need to put these linens away in here but we actually forgot our white shelf that we have at the old apartment in the little Harry Potter closet and we're going to bring that and put it in here so a lot of this stuff is going to go organized in that like I said all of that is garbage or recycle um that has to go in my car that's my boyfriend's tools and the kitchen we are done with the kitchen thank goodness trash is here i want to buy like a rubber mat to put underneath it because i don't like how it's sitting on carpet so here is the overview an espresso paper towels the sink down here i was able to organize all of like my cleaning supplies and then the pantry, that was a whole...
project, but got it done. Looks pretty organized to me. And then here is what the countertops looks like on this side. So air fryer, our nicer knives, and then oil, salt, pepper. And then here is what this drawer looks like. I am obsessed with these um, organizers. Really, really recommend them if you like need to organize your kitchen drawers or any drawers. These are really nice. And then here's what this one looks like. And then up here, this is kind of like a random shelf as well, but I was able to fit all of my seasonings in here. I have my Tupperware up there and then that's just kind of random stuff, um, teas and then like random organizer. And then here's an overview of the living room. So it's like the same setup as my old one. Um, I just haven't decorated yet. I'm not gonna decorate yet, probably until tomorrow or the day after, like hang up the wall art, put stuff on the coffee table. And then I made like this little corner for Ollie over here. I don't know if this is gonna stay here and his toys are not gonna go there. They actually have a bin for them, but it's put away. So I just need to take that out and put his toys. It's gonna go on the little console table over there. I put my little basket with blankets over in that corner. I'm still also trying to figure out where to put his crate because we had it right here, but I don't want the crate to go right here. So maybe I'll leave it there, but it's also kind of in the way of the bathroom door which the bathroom does not look like how it did earlier. So the countertop is all clear. I still need to hang the shower rack, but I'm gonna wait for my boyfriend to get home to help me with that. And then here is the under cabinet storage, which I'm very happy about. So I was able to put all of my skincare on that and I still have a ton of space at the bottom. And then just all of like my um, toiletry stuff. And then here is the organizer that I had in my old bathroom with the same stuff in there. Up here, I don't know if this is gonna stay like this, but for now this is what I did. I just put like my toothpaste and like oral care stuff, um, Q-tips, my little scrunchies for when I wash my face. I think that's gonna be all for this vlog. It's probably gonna be a long one, but I hope you guys enjoyed watching the whole moving in process, unpacking, and just showing you guys how I've been organizing everything. Stay tuned for the next vlog because it's definitely gonna be like another apartment vlog where I'm like decorating, grocery shopping, and just doing all the home stuff. But like I said, I'm tired. I want to like sit on the couch, relax, and just like <laughs> clear my mind of all of this stuff but again thank you guys so much for watching i truly appreciate you give it a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed watching don't forget to subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one